Good morning, students. Today, I wanted to read a book called The Mitten. This book is by Jan Brett. We've read Jan Brett books before. We've read some of her gingerbread books. Remember Gingerbread Baby, Gingerbread Christmas, and Gingerbread Friends? Those were all Jan Brett books. I loved the way that Jan Brett used little peekaboo windows in those books to help us make predictions. I can see that she's doing the same thing in this book, The Mitten. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. I see an older woman with yarn. Over here, I'd seen that she has a spinning wheel. So she must have taken wool and turned it into yarn. And now she must be going to knit him some mittens. At first, his grandmother Baba did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens and finally Baba made them. Who is Baba? That's what Nikki calls his grandmother. Do you know what mittens are? I know here in Florida it's hard to think about mittens. Mittens are like gloves, but instead of going one over each finger and looking like a hand, it has one place for your thumb and one big place for the rest of your fingers. So they don't look like a hand. They look just like this. This is the space for the thumb and this is the big space for the other four fingers. They're to keep your hands warm during winter. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. What do we see that we can make some predictions about? Study the illustrations carefully. I see an animal in the snow. Do you know what kind of animal that is? That's a mole. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. Let's take a closer look at this illustration. See the mole climbing in the mitten? What do you think might happen next? A snowshoe rabbit came along, hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten, and he wiggled in, feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them. But when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. What do you think the author means by the rabbit's big kickers? Sure, his great big feet. Rabbits have great big feet. And the mole was scared of getting kicked, so he scooched over. What do you think might happen next? How do you know? Well, what kind of animal do you think it is? Next, 
a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room. What is the pattern that we see happening in this book? Remember, a pattern is something that happens again and again and again. We have seen a mole decide to go into the mitten because it was warm. Then we saw a hare, a snowshoe hare, another word for a rabbit, to go into the mitten where it was warm. And now we've seen a hedgehog go in the mitten. What do you think will happen next? As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. So he was attracted by the commotion. That means there was a big to-do down there. Those animals in the mittens, they were squirming around and maybe making a little bit of noise, and the owl saw that. That's a commotion. What do you think the owl's glinty talons are? His shiny claws? What do you think is going to happen next? Well, what kind of animal is it? Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left. But when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. What do you think they mean by that? his diggers. A badger uses his sharp claws to dig. What do you think they mean when they said they gave him the thumb? Maybe a thumbs up like, okay, come on in. What do you think will happen next? What kind of animal is that? It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air, and a fox trotted by, stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. What does this picture make you think? Will there be a problem? Is there a problem in this book? Do you remember what Nikki's Baba said to him before he left? A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up, and not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be. But what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged to many times its size. But Baba's good knitting held fast. That means the mitten didn't break. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into one space left. 
and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. What do you think is happening now? There are a lot of animals in that mitten. Think about it. That mitten used to fit Nikki's hand. And now it has all those animals in it. It really stretched. You can see the bear through the holes in the mitten. So it's really stretched out. What do you notice about our little peekaboo windows? What sort of prediction can you make from those? What has Nikki noticed? The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ka-choo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and it scattered the animals in all directions. What do you notice about this one? What is happening in this picture? The illustrations can help us make predictions. The patterns help us make predictions. So there's the mitten that shot into the sky when the bear sneezed. On his way home, Nikki saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound. Then. She saw that he still had his new mittens. Remember, that's what she said that she would check, to see first if he was safe and sound, and second, to see if he still had those new mittens. What do you think that Baba might be wondering about on this page? Thank you for reading this book with me today. I hope you enjoyed it.